Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hat Chat with Rochelle. My name's Rochelle. I'm wearing a hat, and it's Thursday, so it's time for Hat Chat. Thank you for joining us today, and if you're new to Hat Chat, share this broadcast with other teachers now so that they can also get to know our guest today. Hat Chat is a talk show every Thursday where we invite guests to tell us a little bit about themselves. And today we have the one and only Mary Amison from Sharing Kindergarten. You are not going to want to miss what Mary has to say. She's our friend and soon to be your friend. So let's bring her on in. And she has a lot of end of the year activities for you. Hi, Mary. Hi. So glad you could join us today. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Now, we always ask all of our guests to tell us a little bit about their hat. Can you share about your hat, please? Sure. This is UGA Georgia Bulldogs. Um, so this is one of the universities I went to and the university my husband went to. Um, and it's his hat. And I'm just proud because I washed it myself in the dishwasher. So I would put it on my head. You've got to be kidding. Is that a tip for people that wear hats, dishwasher? Um, yeah, so this time of year when they're all nasty from cutting grass and going to ball games and sweat and gross stuff, you take the hat, top rack of the dishwasher, people, and this is what it looks like after. Well, see, you never know what you're going to find out in the hat chat. There you go. A tip for washing your hats. Fabulous. I love it. All right. Well, another thing that we do is we ask our guests to tell a joke that's appropriate for a four or five-year-old because most of our audience here teaches four or five-year-olds. And mm -hmm. so we ask that you um, tell us a joke. What do you got for us today, Mary? Well, not only do I teach five-year-olds, but I have, just like you, a little one that's going into kindergarten next year. And she's four, but she'll be five very soon. So I'm going to take my hat off for a second. All right. I got my joke. Are you ready? Ready. All right. Why was the teacher wearing sunglasses on the last day of school? Why was the teacher wearing sunglasses on the last day of school? She had the brightest students. Hello, the brightest students. Perfect. I love it. Thank you so much. Isn't it fun mm -hmm. to have a five-year-old or a soon-to-be five-year-old? It's just the best age, I think. So all of you teachers who are teaching that grade, you already know, they're just so wonderful. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for sharing that. Thank you. Now, Mary, you have so many things in common with me and with a lot of our viewers. You are a teacher and you do teach kindergarten, mm -hmm. but I know something about you. In the past, mm -hmm. you changed grade levels. And there are some teachers watching right now who probably are in the same boat, either by choice or not by choice. They will be changing from kindergarten, maybe to a different grade level. Can you share some of your experiences about what that was like to change grade levels? Yes, thank you so much for asking because I know a lot of teachers are going through this right now. And I know where your heart is. Um, I know you leave that office or you read that email and you're in tears. I get it. I was there. I taught kindergarten for, I think, 10, 11 years, and I moved to fifth grade. And I know, um, and a lot of people don't think that kindergarten teachers can teach, you know, and we can break down standards. We can do all of those things. Um, and, you know, sometimes we have to prove ourselves, but sometimes, like in my case, I did this solely for my children and what I needed to do for my family. And I wrote a blog post about it. You can go read it. Um, I had to give up my heart and my heart was kindergarten and it was a decision I had to make. And I would get sad and I would cry and I would literally go in the room that was filled with my kindergarten stuff and I would just cry some days. Um, at my school, I couldn't walk down the kindergarten hall, I had to stay away. Um, it, it was hard, but it made me a better teacher. It's definitely making me a better parent. It makes me a better staff member. It gives me a better school perspective. So there's so many positive things I couldn't see in the moment that I wanna tell these teachers, guys, it's gonna be okay. Do it anyway, smile anyway. If it's not happening to you, it's probably happening to somebody in your school. So um, I have a blog post, a little entry on that that talks about that too. Be kind. Just be kind. If they come to that grade level and they're upset and they don't want to do it or they just don't know how to do it, be kind anyway. Um, and then what's really funny is um, I got a gift 
I got a gift of going back to kindergarten. I got my passion back. And because I did what was asked of me, my principal did not hold the fact that I did a really good job in fifth grade and I was a good team member and all that against me. You know what she did? She said, you want to go to kindergarten? And she said, do you want to go home and pray about it? I said, well, I'll lie to you and say I'm going to go home and pray about it. But you already know my answer, right? And she said, yes, I do. <laughs> That's awesome. And we just put the link to that blog post that you wrote about. So teachers, if you are in that position or you know somebody who is, as Mary said, please click on her blog and she will share her heart with you about how that went. So thank you so much for telling us about that. That's wonderful. Now, we know you have a lot of things about the end of the year. We know you wear many hats, just like all the teachers here, wearing many hats at the end of the year. So we have some um, people online ready to go, ready to hear, hi Jessica, so glad you're watching us, um, that wanna know some things about the end of the year. So what do you got for us, Mary? Okay, so guys, I have 11 days left, field days tomorrow. So I have my hats going, are you ready? This is my field day hat, right? I gotta do field day, guys. Guess what else I got to do? Scrapbooks. I got to wear the scrapbook hat. I got to get it together. I got to get the paper and the digital one ready. Um, I also have school play, school play, costumes, outfits, lines. What else do I have? I have to get all those fragile flowers through the end of the day. I have to do Mother's Day. What else? I have to do end of the year awards and gifts. And if this could fit me this would be my crash helmet okay <laughs> so guys all the hats what I'm saying is we're wearing all the hats right now and I feel like we trade them out all the time but guess what guys we're gonna get there the end of the year is coming so let's keep trading the hats out we got this right we're all gonna do it together that is so good. That is wonderful. So you have all these things going on. You have um, field day, end of the year, all those things. Do you have any advice for teachers? Um, if they go to your blog, Sharing Kindergarten, will they be able to find some ideas that you have there? Yeah, I have lots of scrapbook ideas on just how I put them together. Um, I do a digital scrapbook. My tip for that is if you're running late on the year, um, make this digital scrapbook at the end, like during post planning, because um, kindergarten teachers usually have to front load everything. And you can always share that link out. So I have some information about how you can make it CD list or DVD list. So you can um, put it in Google Drive or on YouTube and share the link. So save your time and do that later if you need to. And guys, one thing at a time, one week at a time, just like tomorrow, you have to get Mother's Day done. So put, put everything else off and just chew it down. You know, take a bite, chew it, take a bite, chew it. Um, and guess what? Next year would be better and you're going to get there. And then at the end, guess what? If you didn't do it all, they probably don't know anyway. <laughs> that is a good tip for the end of the year. How do they even know? They're just in kindergarten. They don't have any school experience, right? Yeah. That's really great. Um, so don't forget to go to Sharing Kindergarten, right? Which is yes. your blog where yes. you put all those ideas up there. Yes. Anything else that you want to share with us? What's going on this summer with you? Oh, guys, listen. I love summer because I feel like it's my time with my family and with you guys. I call everybody in the digital world my, world my family as well. And we're going to relax and we're going to recoup. And then we're going to also be thinking about the things that we want to do even better. Because as much as we pretend that we're going to turn it off over summer, we don't. We know it. Um, so I do have a newsletter that I send out every single week. And if you go to it, you can just subscribe. And once a week on Sundays, I'm going to send you guys exclusive freebies. It's just a thank you. It's a way just to give you things. Um, and I try to always make it relevant to what we're doing. Um, so like this week, it was plants. Last week, it was insects, different things like that. So you're going to get weekly exclusive freebies. You don't have to buy anything. It's literally going to be downloaded to you. Um, plus, I compile everything that I think would help you time-wise this time of year in that one um, post. So that's the good thing with that. Also, listen, guys, ESGI is my lifesaver. And they don't know I'm going to say this. I'm saying this because it's true. My school is getting ready to do pre-assessments for our pre-Kers. So, Rochelle, this is like me and your kids are stepping up, right? 
And so yeah. instead of taking the first six weeks of school assessment, 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 assessing, we're, we're not doing that. We're gonna try to sign everybody up early for a pre-assessment slot. And we're gonna spend some time figuring out what they know. Well, we were putting it all together. And so just like you guys, I we all use ESGI in my, in my school, my grade level. So I email ESGI. Guys, I don't think they tell people this. They will give you a free pre-assessing account. So everybody in my team is gonna log into this pre-assessment account. It's already set up. I took all the tests that we always give our kindergartners the first week of school. I just you know, went to test finding, found the tests, put them in there. We are gonna get to assess all of our pre-Kers in that pre-assessment. Then ESGI is gonna flip them to kindergarten students for the next school year, and we can pull those students into our roster. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Guys. <laughs> This is huge. So I told my team about it and I pulled it up at our grade level and they almost lost their minds. They were like, is it that easy? And we were like, yes. And then my administration said, you know what, Mary? We could use this to even the playing field in the classrooms too. So um, pre-assessment account, we are picking two days. We're picking one post-planning day and one pre-planning day to do these assessments. And we're gonna use the pre-assessment account ESGI is giving us. We're gonna put our, all the students in we're all just randomly assessing students into that one account and we're using that. So that was a huge time saver and life saver. Okay, other great summer things. So this year, my school upped the amount of sight words we had to learn from 100 to 200. Wow. Okay. Wow. Well, I was scared too. Um, what happened was most of my students don't know 200. Guess what? They know 400. Um, and one of the reasons, yeah, they, they knew that. And I'm not, I mean, this is a good group, but it was, it was crazy. I put together sight word stations for my kids. And all of these assessments are also in ESGI. So what I do is I have weekly games that my kids can play on the specific sight words that they're learning. So there's like 14 different games for that list of sight words. And I have it all organized. This is a great summer project that you can absolutely do. So this is for weeks 10 through 18. Um, I love this. I have some blog posts about how I organize this, but this was a huge, huge change in my classroom because now I'm teaching my kids sight words the way that they want to learn them. Hugeness. So um, we just soared with sight words. It was awesome. But then I had a problem. So I had some students that were missing weeks of school or a day or two here and they were missing words. And I was like, I can't, I, I, I can't catch them up. Like, how do I teach this kid this word, this kid this word, this kid this, you know what I mean? So I got smart and I'm a little techie. And so what I did was, is I made scannable activities that students can learn specific sight words with. So you can pull up your ESGI, you can see what words they're lacking. Your kids, you can give them this sheet, they scan this code and they get a one-on-one -on -one activity specifically about this sight word. So every kid in your room can be working on their specific sight word. How awesome is that? Um, this was huge for us um, to catch them up. And I'm showing you these two on purpose because these are freebies you can get. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys the link to it, but these are QR scan and learn printables. And in the download, you can get, and I gave you good words. I didn't give you like bad words like A. Or I. I gave you words I really thought your kids would need to learn. So you can grab those. Um, this would be a really great activity to prep over the summer because you print and then I'm going to grab this. You just put them in ABC order. So this is just like a Rolodex type thing but a bigger file. Um, so that's that's a great thing. I love those. I have lot every single file I have has a freebie with it. So definitely grab that. So that's the big things that I'm working on this summer. I have um, two conferences I'm going to. I'm gonna be at I Teach K and I get to be there two days this summer. And I'm so excited. I get to talk about one of my passions, which is science and social studies, love integrating science and social studies. So I'm gonna be there July 10th and 11th. Um, I think Jessica Travis is gonna be there too. Um, lots of phenomenal people. ESGI, are y'all coming? Yes, for sure, all the days. We'll be there the whole time. Yeah. And ESGI is fantastic. What I love about ESGI, and they'll tell you I do this too. So I have a question and I want to see it. So I'll run up and I'll be like, all right, now show me how to do this real quick. And what do y'all do? You show we me. Just show you. 
um, Betty, so I love that. And also going to be at Frog Street Splash. It's going to be in Texas. It's a great conference as well. And I'm going to be there July um, 25th through the 27th. I will be hosting a giveaway to get to that conference for free very soon on my um, blog and Facebook page. So that's going to be awesome. Um, at Frog Street, I'm also going to be presenting on one of my passions, which is science and social studies integration. So I'm going to be doing that as well. Um, and that's just going to be awesome. Um, and if anybody is trudging along the end of the year and you're doing report cards and you're doing play and you're doing field day and you're doing blah, 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 blah and you need help, I got tons of science stuff you can just grab. They're called print and play. You literally print them, cut them, and you can play. And it'll cover all your science or social studies standards and so much more. So if you need that, it's there for you as well. Yeah, we're putting all those links that you're talking about to your blog Perfect. all in the comments there. So anybody who's watching, make sure you look in the comments to click on those great resources because you are going to want to use them over the summer. And as Mary said, you can, if you are um, using ESGI, get a pre-assessed account. And as she mentioned, there's so many resources there because you can make balanced classes for the new year, which is something mm -hmm. so unique. And you can also get all that data. And even as a principal, I knew that I could give to parents a list of all the things the child needed to practice over the summer. And you know what happened sometimes? Parents looked at that list that was so long and they said, my child doesn't know all of this. Yeah. Maybe I'm going to wait another year for kindergarten. And you know what we do then as educators? We celebrate <laughs> because that's exactly probably the, the decision right. that they probably should have made. But if you don't know about ESGI and Mary's been talking about it a lot, you might want to go on and do a free trial right now. Yeah. And you could use the promo code sharing k right yes that's mine mm -hmm. yeah you and sharing i honestly k. use it like i honestly use it i've used it for years i love it um, i brought it to my new school and my team was like why are you done with report cards what did you do different and i was like oh let me show you and they were like no that's exactly what we love to hear so <laughs> if, if you are on a trial great but if you aren't you know Sign up, sharing K. What are you waiting for? You know, it's the perfect time of year because, as Mary said, you can customize your account to meet your needs for the coming school year. So, if you want to pull in all the tests that have all those sight words, for instance, mm -hmm. go ahead and do that over the summer because you're right. We say we're going to relax, but we never do. We just keep on going. So, right. it's perfect. So, check out all those uh, links that we put in the comments, Mary. We just appreciate you so much for just coming on and sharing your heart with us and all your activities and all your hats because we know this time of year is really a busy time so we appreciate you taking the time today and spending a little bit of time with us well thank you i feel so blessed like i said i consider all of you guys my family as well and i really just want to tell y'all hang in there you know um celebrate these days um make sure you're enjoying each kid a little bit every day even even when it's stressful even with it, when it's tough because there's going to come that day in june or maybe july for you you will be like, oh, I wonder what so-and-so is doing right now. Or they'll send you the pictures and you'll be like, oh, they lost that tooth. They grew an inch, I swear. So we love them. They're ours. Let's That's enjoy. right. And people are saying thank you. So thank you, Mary, for thank you. joining us. And if you're new to Hat Chat, to, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I broadcast. Tune in every Thursday for more Hat Chat. I better go get a drink of water. Thanks, everybody. Yes. Bye.